Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your September Love Tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Leo, we are looking into your love life for the first half of September and what will be coming your way next. Please do keep in mind that time is fluid and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning Leo, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Leos out there. Let's get started and let's get into it, Leo. Stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac signs feelings for you. So Spirit for Leo for the first half of September, what's going on for my beautiful Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the first half of September. For my Lion Spirit, what's going on for Leo? Thank you, Spirit. All right, Leo, remember to take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. So we have first card out, Clarity of Belief, the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, we also have Sadness and Isolation, the Three of Swords, more air energy. We have Choose Your Battles, the Seven of Wands, fire energy. We have Seek the Truth, this is the Seven of Swords, air energy. We have Move, this is the Chariot. Cancer energy, and we have Rebuild. This is the Tower Scorpio energy. Holy crap. Leo. 777 here. We're going to clarify this right away. Um, Leo, something was definitely exposed in your love life. I don't know if you found something out or somebody found something out about you. But something came out here, and it doesn't seem like it was the greatest thing here. Could have been about a third party. Could have been about something that wasn't um, that great, basically. So let's clarify this here, Leo. Um, I do feel like for most of you, this energy uh, may have already transpired because of the fact of the way the cards have come out. I feel like you caught someone or some somebody was caught here doing something they shouldn't have been doing, basically. Whether that was talking to other people, seeing other people, I don't know, messaging people, liking things, whatever the case may be, something was found out, basically. It was a shock. It was um Dif it was difficult, especially with these three sevens. Sevens is definitely an insinuation of a challenging time that brings you a sense of in extreme spiritual growth. But we're going to clarify this because, of course, I'm going to clarify this. I want to see what comes up on the tower here. I feel like you're going to be pretty surprised that whoever this person is is wanting to fight for you i feel like this person is not letting you go i don't know if like that's a surprise to you or the surprise was what you found out but you do still look surprised as time moves on so let's see ace of swords with the three of cups yeah definitely could have been about a third party situation three three on the three of swords we have the three of swords holy crap ouch this, this one hurt. That one hurt. Seven of Wands. We got the Hermit. Yeah, this hurt. I don't know who did this to who, but oh my goodness. Seven of Swords here with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it hurt bad too because whoever did this or was wh whoever whatever situation this is in it they the other person was like no you're my one you're you're the person that i'm gonna marry you're the person i'm gonna be with you're the person that i'm gonna love forever and then you did this to me we got the chariot with the devil could definitely be dealing with a capricorn here we have the tower with death scorpio energy 
So this person, who whoever messed up here, they basically changed this whole relationship. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you feel like they destroyed everything. You feel like they messed up everything. Absolutely third party situation. 100%. Maybe you found out someone got a family. Or you found out that somebody, maybe they were talking to somebody when they were out. I don't know what this is specifically, but... Someone was found out. And Leo, usually you guys get pretty good readings here, but, you know, if things happen, they're, it's going to come out, you know. So I'm going to clarify, actually, this whole spread again. I feel like you're really shocked that this person did this. I feel like, you, or they're shocked, vice versa, that it was you for some Leo cross watchers. It's not going to resonate perfectly for everyone, for sure. Um, Spirit, please clarify this for Leo. We have the Three of Cups there with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there was some sort of communication between somebody that it wasn't supposed to. Three of The double Three of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's third party situation. 100%. And if there wasn't, if this never happened... Or if there is never any sort of energy like this in this connection, then this is not your reading at all. Do you see this? Three, 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 four threes. Three sevens. The Hermit with the Tower. Yeah, I'm telling you, the Tower twice. Holy crap, what happened here? Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands. The Devil. Ten of Swords. Death. King of Wands. Holy crap. All right. Well, Leo, whoever effed up here, they, they, they royally effed up. Like, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. They effed up. Bad. Somebody messed this up tremendously. Tremendously, they effed up. This person, Leo, they're going to try to fight for you. They're going to try to be with you. They're going to try to get you to trust them again, I guess. Um, they're going to try. They're going to try. And they're going to try. But this person has the freaking nerve, basically. Like, they have the nerve. Whoever did this, they have such nerve to have done this to you, Leo. They have the nerve. Let's clarify the bottom row. Because they have the nerve because now they're so prominently wanting to fight for you. Like, why would you do this in the first place? Why would you create this destruction in the first place if you still want me? If you still can't let go of me? If you still want to have this relationship then why would you even do this so let's clarify the bottom row here for you leos eight of wands justice yep they're gonna try to make things right they're gonna try to be fair they're gonna try to bring you that good justice they're gonna try to be balanced Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, th this is why this person has the nerve. Because they did this to you, but they won't let you go. Some of you may feel like Leo has the nerve. Alright, don't, don't hate me. It could be either or. But, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Alright. Definitely could be connecting. This definitely could be going... To Happening with somebody who's a, a has Scorpio in their chart or their Earth, they fucked up. Oh my God, I don't think I've ever said the F word. They know they did, but you're not looking at them, Leo. You're like, well, maybe you shouldn't have done it. Maybe you shouldn't have messed up. Let's clarify this bottom row again. 
They're going to try. They're going to try. They're definitely going to try. Let's clarify the bottom row for Leo. What's this person going to do? What's this person going to do now? Spirit, clarify this for Leo. We got justice with the star. The nerve of this person. Like, they're like, I'm sorry, Leo. I will never, ever again. The four of pentacles with the sun. Yeah. Truce out. Like, for some of you. All right, let's see what else comes out. A king of wands, queen of pentacles, the moon. Yeah. Leo, you're in a position of, I feel like you do fear now where this connection is going if you didn't have trust issues before you definitely do now um if you didn't trust this person before i don't feel like you trust them now maybe you trusted them now you don't um we're going to clarify the bottom row one more time and then we'll get your oracle spirit clarify this for leo The star with the six of cups, this person, they're like, I love you, I can't let go of you, you're the one for me, I promise I'll treat you better, blah, 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 all this stuff, the sun, the fool, they want a new beginning, they really, really want you to take a risk on them. This person has so much nerve, it's crazy, they are definitely, definitely, um, problematic, I feel like. Um, the moon with the eight of pentacles. Yeah, they're going to try. They're going to put an effort. They're going to try to work on this. Um, I feel like, Leo, you fear even giving this person an inch now. So, I don't know who messed up, but someone did. For sure. I do feel like, like I said, that this energy has already happened because it's coming out in your two first positioned cards. Like I position these readings, we are looking into your love life and what's going to be happening next. So I definitely feel like for most of you this already happened. I honestly don't feel like this is going to be happening. Um, but they messed up. They want to work on it. But I just feel like I don't know what... You know, I don't know like the details of the story... But I can feel your energy, Leo, like thinking like this person has the freaking nerve. Like that's what I feel. I feel like you're kind of like they like maybe, for example, they make it seem like they're the greatest person in the world and then they had the nerve to do this. Maybe that's why you're sitting in that position. Maybe you two have had, had trust issues from the past and you're like you have the crap. You have the nerve to do this again. For others of you... Maybe the scenario where this played out, the situation it played out, um, the details of the story may just make you feel like you have the nerve to have done this. That's what I feel like they had the audacity, like the audacity of this B-I-T-C-H. So, Leo, you have the decision, whatever you want to do. I feel like, honestly, you're surprised that this happened, but you're almost even more surprised at how much this person is willing to fight for you. I mean, it makes sense. Why would you do this to me in the first place, and now you want to fight for me like crazy? Like, maybe you shouldn't have done what you did. So, mm. what a read. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I guess everything isn't always going to be peaches and cream all the time, right? You have the power, Leo. They know it. You know it. Let's see what your oracle says. This should be pretty interesting. Spirit, what oracle do we have for Leo for the first half? Hello. For the first half of September for Leo... First half of September for Leo. What's going on for Leo and their love lives? Spirit, please show me Leo. I have a feeling deception is going to come out. I would be very surprised if it doesn't. We have unawakened. We have communication. And 
and we have fear. Yeah. So because of this person doing whatever they did, they kind of showed you that either you can't trust them, you can't count on them, or that they just quite blatantly suck. Um, so you kind of fear what to do with this person. Um, like I said, I do feel like they're holding on to you for dear life. I do feel like they could be very problematic and and or toxic. Sometimes that could be hard to stray away from. But with communication and fear, Leo, I definitely, definitely feel like there's a lot of fears here now. There's a lot of energy of, like, just what do I do with this person? What, what, which way do I go? What do I even say? How do we even fix this? Let's clarify. Unawakened communication and fear for Leo. We have unawakened with solitude. We have communication with surrender. And we have fear with grief. Yeah. They hurt you. And now you fear being hurt again by them. So they want to talk. They want to see you. They want to fight for this. They want to work on this. But you're definitely in a position of not sure. Or your fears are definitely taking over. Let's clarify this again for Leo. Solitude with action. Surrender with devotion. And grief with lessons. Yeah. I feel like you're like kind of like, all right, but did, do you know what you did wrong? Like, can you learn from this? Can you be better? Or are you just going to say you will? So they want to give you their time and energy. They definitely will be taking a lot of actions towards you. This person may even like blow up your phone. But let's clarify this one more time. For Leo, we have action. Hello. With balancing the scales. Yeah, they're going to try to bring you justice. They're going to try to be fair. They're going to try to right their wrongs. Devotion with metamorphosis. So they do want to transform this connection. And lessons with admired. It's like, what's this person's problem? Like, they come through obsessed with you, yet they still did that to you? Or, I don't know. It's just very interesting. Uh, okay. So that's what I have here for you, Leo. I do feel like no matter what you decide to do, you will reap your justice from what happens here. Whether it, through, whether it be through them or through a better, brighter, more meaningful relationship. But let's see each zodiac sign's feelings for you, Leo, all the way from Aries to Pisces. I need each zodiac sign's feelings for Leo. All the way from Aries to Pisces, each zodiac sign's feelings for Leo. Here we go. All right, we have Aries feelings for you as the Ace of Pentacles. So Aries does feel like they still want to work on this or they have an offer for you. They want to grow with you. They may ask you on a date or they may offer you a sense of commitment to continuously grow with you. But Aries definitely sees um, potential for this relationship. Taurus feelings for you are the Eight of Swords. So Taurus is really in their head about this connection. They are overthinking, thinking of worst case scenario. Um, they may feel like you're in your head. Um, Gemini's feelings for you are the Fool. So Gemini does want to have a new beginning with you. They want you to take a risk on them. And they want you to feel happy and free to explore this relationship. Cancer's feelings for you are the Knight of Wands. So if you are dealing with an in and out cancer, cancer is definitely making their way back in. They are charming and they are definitely very much attracted towards you. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a cancer that you feel like is a player. Um, for others of you, if you are in a relationship with a cancer, they may just have a lot going on. But with this reading, you may fear whatever they got going on isn't good. Um, we got Leo's feelings for you as the King of Swords. So obviously Leo... D despite this reading, I I think you should come in, in as the King of Swords because if this did happen to you, I would turn cold as well. Um, so Leo's energy is coming through very cutting, very detached, very analytical. So Leo's feelings for you, Leo, whoever you are here, um, they're pissed off. And that's that. They're either cutting out connection, cutting out communication between the two of you or they're just really trying to stay 
away from talking to you or just they may just be even being a little bit rude or standoffish. Um, next we have is Virgo's feelings for you as the moon. So there is hidden energy here between you and Virgo. Virgo has hidden feelings for you. They may be feeling a lot more towards you than they make it out to be. Or Virgo just may fear where this relationship is going. Libra's feelings for you are the five of pentacles. So Libra feels very left out from you. They feel very alone from your energy. You could have ghosted a Libra or just abandoned a Libra. But nonetheless, they definitely do feel a sense of loss. If you are still in a connection with a Libra, they may have lost their job or like if um, lost something to them. Next we have is Scorpio's feelings for you as a chariot. So Scorpio does want to move forward here. They do want to move forward and have victory with you. You may live at a distance between you and Scorpio and they want to travel towards you. Um, you may be planning to travel with a Scorpio. For some of you, a Scorpio may feel like you're moving on from them. Sagittarius feelings for you are the Two of Swords. So Sagittarius is trying to make a decision about this relationship. They do seem closed off emotionally or they think that you are closed off emotionally. There is definitely a fear of being hurt between you and Sagittarius, whether this is your fears or their fears. There is an energy of making a decision on opening up their heart or not or you doing it. So they may view you as being closed off. Capricorn's feelings for you, Leo, are the Seven of Swords. So there definitely could be, um, Capricorn could be one of the energies that this is a reading towards. Seven of Swords, Capricorn either views you as a liar, cheater, stealer, or you view Capricorn as a liar, cheater, stealer. Or there is just extreme fears of being hurt and being lied to between you and Capricorn. I'm actually going to clarify Taurus. Virgo, Libra, Capricorn, and we'll see how these two come out. Aquarius feelings for you are the Ten of Cups. So Aquarius does feel like this is the person that they want to be with. It's you. You are their happiness. If you do not have a family with an Aquarius, Aquarius definitely views you as somebody that they can have a happy family and happy home life with. And Pisces feelings for you, Leo, are the Four of Swords. So for some of you, you're just not in connection with Pisces at all. They're healing. They're focused on them. For others of you, you and Pisces are healing together, finding a way to make this work and really um, heal broken hearts here. So let's see Leo. We're going to clarify Taurus, Virgo, Libra, and Capricorn. So Spirit Wise um, will actually just give me the clarifications. For Taurus, Virgo, Libra, and Capricorn. For Leo, why is this their feelings for Leo? Why is this their feelings for Leo? All right, with Taurus, they have the Eight of Swords with the Two of Pentacles. So Taurus may be in their head because they are waiting for you to make a decision and they don't know what decision you're going to make and they think you're going to make the decision that hurts them or causes them to feel left out by you. Um, we have Virgo as the moon with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so Virgo actually wants a lot of stability and commitment with you, but they may not be necessarily saying that because they're so focused on themselves but they do want to have this with you. And Virgo feels very comfortable with your energy. But they seem like they're either fearing expressing this to you or just not feeling like it's the right time to express how they feel just yet. Libra has the Five of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. All right, yeah. So Libra just feels blatantly rejected by you, left out by you. Um, or they feel like you do are that towards them. I don't think so. And the Seven of Swords with Capricorn, the Eight of Cups. Hello. So for some of you, a Capricorn is walking away from their deceptive-like energy or they want you to walk away from being deceptive. For some of you, you and Capricorn need to walk away from the fears of um, being deceived. Some of you, um, you may walk away from a Capricorn because of some sort of deceptive. This makes, hold on. I never feel like stuck about it, but I never usually do this. Why is Libra the Four of Cups? And why does Capricorn have the Eight of Cups for Leo, for the feeling for Leo? Why does Libra have the Five of Pentacles to the Four of Cups? And why is Capricorn the Seven of Swords to the Eight of Cups? All right, Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know if they, like, want, if they tried to work on this and you told them no to Libra or... You tried to work on it and they told you no. I don't know, but 
It's like there there could have been compromise, but there wasn't. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the King of Wands. Yeah, so with Capricorn coming through the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the King of Wands, I do feel like Capricorn is still very interested in pursuing you and being with you. So they may be walking away from their deceptive-like energy to, to help this connection, or they feel like you need to, or y'all just need to walk away from the fears and have more confidence in each other. So that's what I have here for you, Leo. What a reading. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to all my beautiful Leos very soon. Bye now.